Last year, the Galaxy Z Flip 3 was the most popular folding phone in the world. And the Galaxy Z Flip 4 has a lot to live up to. Can it? Will it? Should it be your next phone purchase? Let's talk. Of course, we first have to address the one glaring difference between the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and other regular smartphones, the folding part. The Galaxy Z Flip 4 does fold in half. It's a clamshell foldable, so it basically turns from a regularly sized phone like Galaxy S22 Plus into a smaller pocket square-like shape. And this shape can assist you in many things. Like if you stand it up in a halfway stance, uh, you can basically get the camera facing you when the phone is essentially acting like its own self tripod. So it saves you a lot of time and convenience instead of having to try, like pack a tripod. Uh, this can also assist you during video calls, right, or Zoom calls, as have as has become prevalent in our time. Now, a vital part of the design that lets this phone be possible is the cover screen. The cover screen on the fold, or the not the fold. Uh, the cover screen on the Flip 4 uh, has actually gotten some well-deserved upgrades this year. As you can now call from like one taps from here, uh, it still has the same old functionality. Notifications from the left side, right? Uh, you can check some widgets, your music widget, your weather widget, your steps widget. Uh, you have alarms and you can add more widgets as you please. Uh, and also you can customize your own kind of mini lock screen on the front uh, and it's really cool. Uh, I enjoy using it. I think that it is definitely uh, worth the screen real estate and extra power usage like that it brings to the phone uh, and it's definitely an integral part to this phone's design. Uh, this screen is not that special other than the folding part however. Uh, it's still a regular 120Hz 1080p AMOLED uh, at this size though, 6.7 inches, I would really have liked to seen a Quad HD option, though when we get to the battery section I think you'll see why that Samsung opted for 1080p on this model. Uh, also, um, the screen itself is just good quality, right? It's a Samsung display, Samsung makes great displays, and this display is no different. Um, the UI feels slick under my fingers, and even though there is a slight crease in the display, I don't think that it's a major annoyance past the first week of using the phone. I did use the Z Flip 3, so I was a little accustomed to the like placement of the little crease here already. And after a couple days with the phone, I rarely noticed it. Uh, if you want to be a hater and say, oh my god, I can feel it every single time, just ignore it. Use your phone like you regularly do, and you will definitely not experience it. Trust me. Now, as I hinted out earlier, the battery life isn't the best on the Z Flip 4. However, it's not as bad as it used to be just a year ago. Uh, one year ago, I could barely get through the day without having to charge at least once. Uh, now, I can definitely say that it is an all-day phone and nothing more. Right? You know, there, there are some phones, and maybe the phone that you have right now, that can you know, go a whole day and spend the night and you can still use it for a couple hours the next day, right? Uh, this phone is definitely not that. If not, it will die on that same day or it will die over the night. Um, you can barely get four hours of screen on time, uh, which is not terrible, right? It's, it's average, it's okay. And for the size of the battery that they packed into this thing, 3,700 milliamp hours up from 3,300 milliamp hours just a year ago, uh, I can definitely say that they've improved on the battery life on the Z Flip 4. And also, something I've waited and waited for is the charging improvement. Last year and for every single Z Flip previous to the Z Flip 4, we were stuck on 15 watt charging and for a thousand dollar phone that is definitely not acceptable. And thankfully now I've upgraded to Samsung's standard 25 watt charging that is also on the base Galaxy S22. While Samsung blessed us with better uh, battery life this year, they did not do so on the cameras. The cameras on the Z Flip 4 are just okay. And I mean, Samsung is basically milking the crap out of these cameras. These are the same lenses and sensors that were in 
the Galaxy S10e, a phone that is over three years old. And, I mean, they're fine. They take good quality images in, like, good light, but that's not really an accomplishment anymore as the currently on sale Pixel 6a on Amazon takes amazing pictures in uh, daylight. And I don't think this is really a great feature of the Z Flip 4. I really think they should, they should have at least put in a 24 or 48 megapixel sensor in here uh, just to up that sharpness and compete with their own flagship models that are selling a little less than this one, like the S22. All in all, the cameras are fine, but I would really have liked Samsung to have a little bit of improvement here, though I'll show you some samples and you can judge for yourself. Especially compared to their own flagship foldable, the Galaxy Fold 4, uh, these cameras are definitely underpowered. The Fold 4 got basically an identical camera system to the Galaxy S22 Plus, and I definitely think that Samsung not really included a telephoto in here because uh, there's not really any space for a telephoto, but at least at least that 48 to 50 megapixel wide lens would have really benefited here. I mean, first of all, thousand dollars, Samsung, a thousand dollars, and this is basically competing with that Galaxy S22 Plus, and with a very much underpowered camera, I could see a lot of people going for that phone just because of the longevity that that phone could give you. Now, after the beating the Z Flip 4 just took in that camera department, why should you buy this phone over? all the other ones, the S22, the S22 Plus, and even the S22 Ultra for that matter. Well, there's the primary reason, right? It does that. And there are a lot of benefits and upsides that come with this, as are a lot of downsides, like longevity and durability on how, mu how many times can this phone really go over and over and over again, right? Uh, however, me, I've used this phone for almost two months now, and I haven't had any complaints in the durability department. Obviously, the hinge has gotten a little looser since I first got it in, in late August. Uh, however, um, this is really okay as it's expected from a phone that has a moving part in it, and... Uh, I can definitely say, coming from my Z Flip 3 and my Z Flip 4 now, that this phone will definitely last you a while. However, you should also look at whatever is your personal, like, prioritization in a phone. If you like better battery life, if you like great, great cameras, you should definitely not get this phone. This is for people who want a more of a lifestyle phone, right? Help, like, just giving you a better experience overall, right? You can prop it up on a table stand, right? You can basically, you can take Zoom calls with it. You can do a lot of basic things with it. But if you want that power user lifestyle, right? You wanna have that bigger battery. You wanna have that better camera. Uh, I don't think this phone is for you. If you can find an S22 Plus on sale or on discount and with the S23 models coming out like very soon, uh, in the next few months, you should definitely find an S22 Plus on sale. And if you like those features, you should definitely buy that phone. Uh, I do have a couple cents to give, you know, like from my own opinion. Uh, I hope you've seen, right, that 
Samsung makes the two most popular foldables in the world at this point, the Flip 4 and the Fold 4. And I think because of that, right, they've become a little, I don't know, lazy with their innovations year over year. And the Galaxy Z Flip 4 is a prime example of that, right? Same cameras, mostly the same design with, of course, some essential changes that were really, really bad on the previous foldables, like the battery life. Uh, but other than that, I don't really see uh, a big reason to upgrade from the Z Flip 3. If you have a Z Flip 3, unless your battery is so shot that you can't get through half a day, this is definitely not the phone for you. And if you want to be a first-time foldable buyer, I can definitely recommend to you guys that this phone is great and you'll definitely get used to it and over time you'll come to love it. That's the review, right? Um, the Galaxy Z Flip 4 is a great phone. If you want it, buy it. If you like the video, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you thought, and what device should I review next? Peace. Thank you.